So, um, let me just do this. Okay, so I know that they've performed this as the new group, but I don't like the quality of it. So, I'll just hear the song from the show and then we'll carry on with the new songs. Fantastic. Okay. Drop down and get your ego alone. Now we're, now we're talking. Oh, oh that was pitchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were singing live? Nova. Nope. Oh, baby. Of course, three rats will be involved. That makes sense. This song is not going anywhere fast. Okay, I've had enough of that song now. And this is the issue with not having strong vocalists. It just doesn't carry the song. It just feels so flat. Anyway, let's hear the title track. I heard a little bit of this on TikTok. And I was like, oh, this sounds good. This production is dumb. <laughs> the flame, Good. Good.
So I love so that production reminds me of um is it um Erica Badu on and on? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, na, na, na. It's got that neo soul vibe. Um the beat is very that. Um I do actually like it though. Um I'm really pleased at how sensual and groovy it is, but I know a song like this needs strong vocalists and they don't have that. So that's the only disappointment I already have. It's going to be nice enough. But for something like this, you need singers. So am I like, is it better to not do the genre at all if the vocals aren't going to be up to par? Or is it just good? I mean, it's well produced and it's very unique. But anyway, let's see how the song goes. That pre chorus is great. Like, if that we can't turn it off was sung by a singer. Hey, you will feel it. It doesn't have to be belted, but if it was strong, you would it would I would be like, I believe what you're saying. Looks good though. I love the choreo, I love the styling. Mm. You bet. That was sick. Yeah, that looks good. I hope SM watches this because this is the kind of song that said Rise would eat a song like this. Um, this vibe. It goes to show you it can be done. A boy group can do this. That is a shot. He looks so good. What a great debut, I must say. What a great debut. Um, fuck, man. I know, I know, expecting vocals. But the thing is, I don't even want... It's so irritating because I, I feel like a broken record, but I don't think it's clear enough what I mean. I don't need anyone to be Mariah Carey. I just... Or Stevie Wonder or Luther Vandross. I just need you to have a strong conviction in your singing um, rather than a sort of passive, like vocal that it just shows that singing is not your pan your passion dances because you can see the, how great the standard of dancing is i wish we had one vocalist in every group that cared about singing and had a full voice um what else was i gonna say i'll give that an eight though it's a very strong debut song i think and and it's so unexpected the choreo is too strong it's well executed very shout out to jyp was that full english as well i don't think it was i didn't even notice i was just so taken in by everything the last two nights, also they did so it is unless this song both songs have maybe the other song had korean actually let me just double check so i thought they would have done fully japanese kind of like nct wish which is interesting 
Yeah, this was, yeah, because it says Korean in the title, so. Korean, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I thought they would have done um, Japanese. Who is producing the music? Shit. That's what I was going to add. Because the reason why also I am more critical of vocals is because you're doing the sound that requires it. If you're going to reference this genre, you got a reference. you got to bring the vocals as well. Because you're hitting in the dance. So it's not too much to ask. Like, if you don't want to have me so hyper-focused on vocals, don't give me... Um, R&B, Neo Soul, which will have strong vocal moments, or at least a strong vocal presence. So glad it went there because I didn't think it was going to. I'm confused. Wait. So you've got a global group, right? Obviously, global does never, never includes. Anyway, um, they shouldn't say global, but anyway. <laughs> the, the globe is a big place. It's not just New York. Anyway, but so basically, you audition all that, but you still end up with six Japanese members and I guess one Korean. So I guess the global is some of them speak English, right? Anyway. Uh, da -da -da -da, for the nine, da -da. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Vocals are too weak for that. That Yuki just that was not. What I, what I will hope is that like like when I reacted to um, Lucemble, their first EP was so vocally underwhelming, and by the time their second EP with Girls Night, they've grown a lot and the voice they still have the same voices, but 
the conviction and the delivery, they've gotten used to it a bit more. So this is what I'm hoping will happen with next. And I can see it happening as well, hopefully. If they're sick of this sound and they grow and develop in it, I think there's something very promising here. Every night I'm dreaming, but I get me not in Zapier. No need to do good shit for me. Yeah, no good shit for me. That person, Yuki, should have been like someone with a deeper voice, like deep, rich, hitting that with a husky alert. Ooh, it would have just felt so, ooh, hello. It's every night I'm dreaming, but I get me not in Zapier. No need to do good shit for me. Oh, this music. Wow, it's giving uh, Phil Collins, uh, not not Phil Collins, just, that's just the way it is, it's not Phil Collins, I always think it is, but some person, um, some other name, my fucking autoplay. Anyway, I'm very surprised by that debut, it's very new, it's fresh, it's exciting, musically it's different, it's not as typical boy group loud, da 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 da, it's, I am not mad, I'm not mad at it. Let's just hope the vocals grow and develop a little bit. But yeah, peace.